Hello, my soccer viewers. Let's talk about the Bundesliga weekend uh, after a very, very short winter break. But I have to say, I enjoyed the Bundesliga a whole lot more than anything I saw from the Premier League, except there was a few exceptions we'll talk about, but uh, mostly I have to say the Bundesliga games were a whole lot more entertaining. There were many little storylines. I think the main storyline is that Leipzig put the challenge to Bayern. Bayern was briefly down, but never out. Gotta be said. We have Leverkusen going down, uh, getting a second consecutive loss. We have Dortmund uh, coming potentially back. Let's see. And of course, I'm wearing Hertha. Hertha really, uh, I want to say, sealing the deal over Schalke uh, for going down. Let's uh, get to the games. I mean, uh, the Gladbach Bielefeld should never have been only 1 0. This was uh, Gladbach domination, especially in the first half, that they only get the goal in the second half was a little bit of a travesty. Um, Eintracht Frankfurt Leverkusen, that was of the early games probably the standout tie and uh, big credit to, for Frankfurt to coming back. This was a game that was teetering on the edge. Amiri, after nice, uh, after Wirtz assist, made a great goal uh, with his back heel. Really, uh, I think a difficult position because he runs away away from, uh, from, from goal and then nicely back heel hits it in the 10th minute. And you think, yeah, uh, this goes Frankfurt's way, but Frankfurt's a team that is really hard to put down. And uh, yes, the, there are probably are many draws. Younes gets them the equalizer in the 22nd, and I always had the feeling that Frankfurt was kind of the more proactive team, the better team there. And it was an own goal, bad clearing. I don't mean it's not bad, but clear. I mean, uh, top, 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 so tried to clear it and put it in in, 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 in his own net because um, um, I think Andres was lurking behind there. Uh, the 54th gives Frankfurt the win. Leverkusen then tries to come back, but honestly, I think this was uh, thoroughly deserved for Frankfurt and actually shows that this is a quite talented squad that can do more. Current Augsburg was a dreary game that honestly uh, should need a should have been a zero zero. That Augsburg gets the win was a little bit especially because Curran at the point was maybe the slightly better team, but yeah, the less we talk about the better. Freiburg uh, gets a f big win at Hoffenheim. They were three 0 up at the halftime with only two shots on goal. <laughs> yeah, but the, the third goal was on goal. Absolutely clinicky and helped that Hoffenheim had two injuries uh, very early on uh, and can only pull one back. Uh, same Union Berlin, never really in trouble in Bremen. And Union Berlin are really becoming uh, the story of the season that at least I'm not too much talking about. But they are a pretty decent team that probably will push for European spots. So uh, that's they are definitely the surprise of the season. The other Berlin team, uh, I saw a little bit of the first half, very bad jersey matchup, I have to say. Schalke, you, you really do. if you come up with that, you really don't deserve to be in the Bundesliga, to be honest. Uh, little bit, little bit, little bit, and Guendouzi makes it 1 0, and then everything breaks. Cordoba in the 52nd, and Piontek gets also a goal uh, after a while. So, yeah. Had, uh, uh, that was, as I did, this was one of the match, ma 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 matches where both teams actually needed to win. Hertha maybe can look up to the midfield of the table, although their uh, demands are definitely to play for European spots, given uh, the investments they are doing. So we have to see where this is going. Uh, Stuttgart, Leipzig, I was watching a lot of, I uh, had the Real Madrid game on, but I, I, I actually got stuck with Stuttgart Leip Leipzig. This was a highly entertaining game. Um, Leipzig definitely a better, better team, but Stuttgart, especially at the beginning, uh, in the game as, as, as well, but then retreating a little bit. It was very tactically. I mean, the two coaches know each other well. They are all known as a little tactical geniuses. So, um, it was really in, 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 interesting to see how first Stuttgart tries to poke Leipzig a little bit, but Leipzig actually reacting properly to it. Um, they get a penalty, which I thought was a little bit of a cheap penalty. Uh, for me, it was not necessary. I can see that once it's given that uh, it will not be overturned, but it was a little bit of a soft one. Uh, Forsberg uh, steps up. 
and then uh, he takes a really hard uh, shot but uh, Kobo uh, can get his foot I mean it was down the center he pulls the foot for foot up and deflects it all onto the bar and out that was a great 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 save but then Stuttgart was really uh, hanging on uh, to kind of stay in the game uh, early in eh, in the second half as picture continues a little bit that way and Leipzig can get the goal through Olmo I think it was Ange Angelino Pass that got deflected and falls to Olmo who can pull it in Stuttgart had to recover from that but to be honest uh, very late on they had at least one if not two really I mean one a really good chance and another one where they could have gotten an equal it was a game where Leipzig deserved the win and at that point even took top of the table um, probably the game more but I think Stuttgart will a little bit be unhappy with themselves because they probably could have gotten a draw out of that one too um, the Dortmund Wolfsburg game on uh, uh, I also put a kind of emphasis on there Wolfsburg should have in the first 10 time scored at least one goal I mean there was one situation where Schlager is in the own in the op 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 opposition box no one around he can take the shot and he hastily does and doesn't even pull it on goal it goes wide and then a little bit later um, another shot that was deflected I think by Homers um, uh, it was a um, Gerhard shot uh, deflected by Homers onto the post I mean there were clear chances but uh, the longer the game went on Dortmund got control of the game and I have to say then uh, you know Holland back they didn't were largely the better team I was always a little bit hoping for Wolfsburg to do something but when Akanji after a uh, corner cor 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 kick had it in the writing was on the wall Wolfsburg pushing for more um, I had that uh, Vejos was really on fire but they couldn't get it and then lay, uh, later on when they were really pushing jump plays to Sancho who uh, runs a lot of goal puts it in in, in in internet and it's 2 nil Dortmund and then I thought yeah Bayern will get an easy win da 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 we have Dortmund maybe get it back in the mix I don't think they will let's talk about that later but then little minds is 2 nil up at the half and probably should have been even three yes Bayern also had chances but uh, Mainz were really well in that game Burkhardt and Huck giving them a 2 nil lead and I saw this at the halftime I mean I was watching the Milan game uh, and I thought oh this is gonna be interesting can Bayern come back for them of course they can come back for that uh, Süle uh, come, come, comes on I think he has uh, he and Neuer uh, make one big save uh, where Bayern and Mainz hit the bar and Mainz had another good chance uh, after Kimmich already made the 1-2 um, but then see Lirisa in the 55th 2-2 two -two, and yeah that's that uh, disallowed goal from uh, Bayern was in the Niklas Süle in the 70th puts Bayern on the win and then Lewandowski uh, with a penalty and another goal and you think it never happened the only thing that I have to say Bayern keeps conceding and uh, usually early and they need, seemingly they need this little bit but this is the one thing that I would be uh, concerning to me uh, if I was the, uh, there the band uh, doesn't look all that strong but top of the table they are and I think even increasing their lead slightly now to two points uh, because Leipzig uh, Leverkusen dropped down uh, they would have won one, one point and now only Leipzig is left if you look at the chances I mean it's all Bayern at this moment uh, and there's not much of a I, I really feel that although Leipzig is a team that can give Bayern trouble it is really uh, all about Bayern because Leipzig uh, loses points elsewhere uh, and even if they would win again against Bayern it might be a little bit too little too late the top four look strong at the moment although uh, just by points only on Wolfsburg are still there but if I look at the chances it's pretty strong that the, the top four at the moment will also be the top four at the end of the, of the season outside chances for Wolfsburg, Gladbach, Union and Frankfurt maybe and on the bottom it also I mean points wise Kern is not out of the trouble 
that's for sure. I think even Bremen is in danger of going in there, and I, I actually find Hoffenheim down there also a little bit of a soft soft part, but that's a team that always can get going. But Mainz and Schalke look down and out, and Bielefeld is also not the big uh, challenger there, so um, that will be interesting. The midfield, as you can see, I mean, from Gladbach to, um, yeah, potentially Bremen, it's rather even. Uh, you can really see the top three, and then kind of the rest. Uh, then uh, Union Wolfsburg, Dortmund is a pack, and then the rest. Uh, and then uh, there's a real cut uh, through Köln, Bielefeld, and so on. So yeah, uh, next round, Friday. I mean, it's two games. The Friday game, Gladbach Bayern. I think this is a game that Gladbach will really desperately need uh, to get back into the Champions League conversation, which probably will be really tough for them, as we just just saw. And then Leipzig Dortmund. I think this is a knockout game um, for Dortmund. Um, if Leipzig wins that one, then. Uh, they are Dort Dortmund is out, but I also think if Dortmund should win that, that will help, go a long way to uh, Bayern's uh, repeat glory, unless they of course lose points to Gladbach. So yeah, that was what happening in the Bundesliga. Let me know. Let 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 me feel. Uh, let me know what you think. Fill me in. I wanted to say. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon as it will remind you whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.